It is time for Daily Top 5. Now, it's cool enough when one member of the family is in the movie industry, but two or more members in the same industry, then it's just so cute. And it says a lot about the fact that there's enough space in the air for everyone to fly. So let's talk about top five Nigerian actors who you might or might not have known were siblings or relatives. Number one on the list, Dakore Akonde and Timini Ibusu. Now, Dakore hit the movie scene in the late 90s and rose to prominence in the early 2000s. And she was very popularly known back then for her bad roles and uh, bad girl roles, rather, in a number of movies. Now, due to her talent, it did not take her time before she became an A-list actress in Nigeria. As if we didn't have enough of one of the Egusuns, another cute and talented sibling, Timini, showed up and just stole our hearts away with his superb acting roles. Initially, most people didn't even realize that he was Dakari's brother, but yes, he is. However, it has become a very known well-known fact that you know both of them are siblings and we had timini the other day yeah did you know that yeah I, I like the fact that both of them are actually doing well for mm -hmm. themselves so nobody has to like feed off yeah. on another yeah. person i remember interviewing him when he came first yeah. when he started um, the movie industry i said you're the chorus but i say yes but please i'm timini like <laughs> Yeah, like, focus on me. I not, understand that thing. And so much respect for Dakari. There are times when I'm on set and I see him, where she's acting, well, on Castle and Castle, he was there most times. He was just there watching her, learning from her, oh. very supportive. So I love their relationship. It's so That's sweet, That's so sweet. Honestly. And then I've seen them act together, too, I think in 50, 50? 50, 50. Yeah! yeah. Yes, in 50. So true. Yeah, she beautiful. I really, really love these people. Now, let's talk about this one, and that's uh, Femi Adebayo and Tokwe Adebayo. The siblings came into the the industry through their father who is also an actor uh, their father is the popular Yoruba actor Adebayo Salami who is widely recognized as one of the veterans in Nollywood Femi started his career in 1985 when he featured in his father's first movie and it was a yeah, scenes featured in many movies Tokwa on the other hand also joined the league of actors in his family and he has taken up some comic roles which are quite hilarious he's also an editor and cinematographer and has been known to be off the camera most times to take care of the movie production. Mm. So you know those people so well. Tokwa is always doing, he's always playing on those comical roles, or like his brother Femi is always. Jennifer, yes, Jennifer. yes, Tokwa is always doing the comical <laughs> roles. And it's great, their father was doing it, then um, Adebayo, then Tokwa. So you even think that they have more than those two people yes, in that it, industry. They have a lady too. Oh, wow. Yes, it's in the family. Do. It's in the family. <laughs> like, they were just born to, to do this. Yeah, because, I mean, they're, they're growing up and this is what they're seeing, probably yeah. seeing their dad so let's just do what that is doing. And they love it. Let's yeah. do what that is doing. <laughs> yes, number three on our list is Fred Amata and Jetta Amata. The Amata family is one of the most popular movie industry families. Uh, it all started with their father, John Ifogeli Amata, who was the first African to shoot a celluloid film, Freedom, in 1957. It was also reported that his mother was an actress in the past. Fred came into limelight in 1986 for the film Legacy and has acted in several movies after. He has been the president of Directors Guild of Nigeria since 2016. Jetta, who is the nephew to Fred and son to the actor Zakamata, also joined the movie industry, produced and directed his first movie at the age of 21. Yes, he has since produced quite a number of blockbuster movies. Jetta Mata is that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Jetamata, Jetamata. Well, Fred Amata is the guy guy. Uh -uh. <laughs> I don't know. Me, I'm, connect, I'm, connecting more, I'm, I'm connecting more to Jetta because Jetta is the new school oh, Amata. Well, and Fred. directing, mm. yeah, then Fred and Zach and the rest, and yes. It's also in the family because yeah. yeah. it's also in the family. His ex wife, yeah. Agatha Amata, mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. is a well known TV presenter. Media person. And, Media yeah, person. and also owns a TV station. Crazy, so man. it's just there. Crazy. <laughs> Okay, oh wow, fourth on our list is John and Empress uh, Njama. Now, John hit the movie scene in the 90s and he was popular for the comic role he played in Fuji House of Commotion. <laughs> now, the actor has since acted, produced, and directed quite a number of movies and drama series. Empress also joined the industry in the late 90s and became prominent in 2004 for her role in the movie Missing Angels. She has starred in several movies after that and she went quiet after that, but she's back in the game. Oh. I, Fuji House of Commotion was... It was so lit. So, I used to follow it like, ugh. I love these two people. If you watch, um, were they, was um, John Ijama in Checkmate? No. Was he? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, checkmate. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And you know, I, oh, and they also have a brother, Aquila. Aquila, Aquila. Aquila, Aquila. All right. And so I used to see Johnny in school. And it was it was always in P theatre. It was the dramatic arts, uh, you know, ah, department. And so, you know, you would always see all of these people. Like, I wondered how they did it that they would leave school, and so, so they would. They would so there were a lot of them. There was uh, somebody who used to play the role of Miss Pepe in, um, Papa in Papa Jasco. Yeah. Um, I, I've forgotten her name. So you see all of these people. So I knew them. So I would always just sit down somewhere and just watch these people, like. But I miss, I, I miss Empress, though. Yeah, she's back doing movies, but that Empress that we used to know... Mm. Let's not call the old Timaya drama into this. Oh, Empress is like, like, like a businesswoman. Yeah, let's not call Timaya into this drama right now. I mean, she, she okay. shines during her time, and he's still back again yeah, to shine some good. more. So it's good it's okay. to know that. All right, and finally, it's Kunli Afolayo and Gabriel Afolayo. Now, these brothers have proven to be a force to be reckoned with since the demise of their father, fondly called Ade Love, who was a fantastic actor in the 80s. Kunli rose to prominence in Tunde Kalani's movie, Shawarede. He further went on to produce and direct his own movies, which have been major successes. Now, Gabriel also followed suit and got into acting quite early too. The graduate of theater arts and the lovely cute boy in the blockbuster movie, Madame Dearest, Wally Adenuga's Nena, and also many more. He is considered one of the finest and super talented actors to have come out of the Afolayo family. We agree with this one. And Aremu, there yeah. is Aremu, right? There's Aremu, too. Aremu is cousin. Aremu is a controversial one. Aremu is a controversial one. Wow, gosh, like they have a lot of them. So it's like starting when the father does this, this is what daddy is doing. What do you want to be in future? I want to be like daddy. <laughs> I guess I think their, father's, their father's movies um, were at, the, at some places during this Easter, past mm -hmm. Easter. This Are you is Are they love movies? Yes, I did love. Wow. You know, and I saw some clips too because I follow him on Instagram. Yeah, so what sometimes what I'm like. What I see is that they're actually very passionate about this. I yes. think it transcends the family the legacy. ties. It, it transcends the legacies too. We are passionate about it and we found it that it was just, it just so happened that. And the fact that I people just respect these people. So, yes. so, so will it be a thing of crime if their own children now say, no, I don't want to do this? Like, no, them. I don't think it should be. I, a thing I don't of think crime. so, but oh. I think Kule already started putting yeah, his Mokalik. son, Mokalik, and then um, in, there was the one Ketensho acted with him, mm -hmm. and then they had. He had his mother, and then he had his son in it. So, fantastic. All right, now, nothing bad in that. <laughs> uh, we'll take a break now, and we'll be back with OJ for the movies, other movies segments. Guys, you don't even want to miss this for anything. Yeah.